Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course today we'll continue our discussion uh, of the animal kingdom. I'm going to be looking at the phylum annelida, the annelids. Okay, I'm going to be looking at what? The annelids, the earthworms. Okay, I'm going to look at the leeches, the ragworms. All right, so this is what I'm going to be looking at today. And do not forget, of course, that this video tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jump app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. All right, I'll tell you more about the application as we continue. All right, so now, um, annelids are the segmented worms. They are segmented. Okay, their body is divided into different sections. Okay, that we call segment. That's why I say they are segmented. Okay, they are what segmented ones. Their body parts is what divided into what different what segments. Okay, and of course, in each of those segments, they are repetition of what of internal what organs in each of those segments. Okay, so internal organs are repeated in each of what those were segments. So that's why we say what they are what segmented worms. Their body is divided into sections. S E C sections into sections called segments. All right. So now they include the earthworms, as you can see, the lumbricus terrestris, the earthworms, and the leeches. Okay. Another example is the ragworms. Ragworms. All right. Yes, you heard that right. The ragworms. Okay, these are examples of what? Of the annelids or the phylum what annelida. Now we're going to quickly see their characteristics. Okay, their bodies are segmented with long cylindrical bodies. They usually have long cylindrical what bodies. Their bodies are usually what shaped in the form of a ring. Okay, they have long cylindrical what bodies. But when their bodies are segmented, we have explained what segmentation meant. Okay, and with long what cylindrical what bodies. Number two, annelids are bilaterally symmetrical. Bilaterally symmetrical. You know what bilaterally symmetrical means. Okay? When we say that a body part that can be cut into what? That can be cut into, all right? Into by what? Uh, into by or oh, by any plane or what in any angle to give or two identical what halves. Okay, that is what bilaterally what symmetrical. They are bilaterally what symmetrical. Their body part can be cut into in any plane or angle to give what to give what to call what uh, two identical halves. They are bilater bilaterally what symmetrical. Then of course they are triploblastic. That means they have what three gem cells. Okay, they have three gem cell layers or three what uh, gem layers like for example you have what the ectoderm ectoderm the endoderm endoderm and the mesoderm okay their body parts can be what Okay, I talk about triploblastic now. We say what well, they have what three cell layers or what three gem layers, such as what well, the endoderm, the endoderm, the ectoderm, endoderm, and the mesoderm. All right, then there are silomates. By silomates, we mean that what well, they have a true body cavity. They do not have a false body cavity. They have a true body cavity. All right. Now also they possess parapodia and setae used for what. Locomotion. So for them, for, for them to be able to uh, to move from one place to another, they possess what uh, parapodia and setae. I think it should be all or uh, setae. The same thing, okay? Parapodia or setae that they use to move from one place to another. All right. So <clears throat> that is what another characteristic of what of the annelids. Then of course. The digestive system is complete and developed. They have a complete and developed digestive system. Okay, they are not like the platyamites that are what they have, what that, that, that don't have a fully developed digestive system. And they don't have the platyamites don't have anus. All right, but the annelids they have a complete and developed digestive system. Okay, now sexes may be separate or joint. Okay, and my, they can be what. Uh, separate like having the male and female okay then time they can be dimorphic all right and they can be what a uh, hermaphrodite hermaphrodite okay so uh usually during what um mating what happens is that uh, each of these what earthworms okay they line up what inverted to each other and what and they release what a sperm okay and they exchange what sperms okay so that is what that's how what they what they reproduce okay so they may be separate can have the male one and the female one and then they can be what they can be what joint their joints called what the amaphroditic what earthworms or amaphroditic what annelids. All right, now metamerism or metameric segmentation 
is the repetition of homologous body segments. The word repetition of homologous body segment, like I've explained during our segmentation here, I told you that what that they have bodies which can be divided into different sections called what segments. Okay, and what is very important is that in each of those segments that they are divided into, right, they have what repetition of what of internal organs in each of those segments. So this type of development can be seen in analytes. Okay, metameric what segmentation can be seen in what in analytics these are in the past questions okay so do not joke with this kind of things okay so they can be seen in analysts such as the earthworm the leeches the tube worm okay also they can be found in higher species like the anthropodas and the caudatas okay you can find them in anthropodas you can find them what in caudatas all right um and, but we have to note that what that the tapeworm tapeworm is not metamerically segmented Tapeworm is an exception. It is not metamerically what segmented. All right. I think that has come out in the, in the past question before. I can't remember clearly, but of course, you have to take note of that. Tapeworm is not metamerically what segmented. It is not metamerically what segmented. Okay. So metamerical uh, segmentation can be found in analysis such as what uh, earthworm can be found in leeches. Okay. In tubeworm, but they are not found in what in tapeworms. Even in higher species like the anthropods and the caudatas, you can see what metameric segmentation what happening but in tape worms it is not found okay now another important thing to know is that uh the analyst can be what divided what uh, classified into what four okay so we have analysts okay consists of what the consist of the polychyta okay example is what is nerys the consists of all the only go chaita example is what at warm okay this is too much space only go chaita example is what at warm okay and also we also have what uh the hirudinia okay example is what the hirudin hiru dinaria Okay, and then uh, we have one more what, classification of the uh, 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 of the what of the uh, analyst. We have what Akianilia. Okay, we have what Akianilis. Akianilis. Okay, okay. I call what Akianilis. Let me put this out well. Canalis, okay. So these are what the uh, the classification of what of the what uh, uh, of what of the analysts. Okay, we have the polychyta, such as what the nerys. We have what the oligochyta, such as what the earthworms. We have the hirudinia, such as what the hirudinia uh, hirudinaria. They also have the Achen achenelida, okay, or what the achenelids, okay. So these are the four classification of the what of the uh, uh, of the phylum what analysts four. Polychyta, oligochyta, hirudinia, and what? And akenelida. Okay. So, uh, example of another example of um, of uh, oligochyta is what? Um, tube flares. Okay. It's another example of the what? Of the oligochyta. So, these are the four classification of what? Of the phylum what analysis. Polychyta, example with nerys. Oligochyta, example the earthworm and the tube flares. Hirudinia, example is what? Hirudinaria. And of course, akenelida. Or, or the akenelids. Okay, an example. I don't know any example about of, of akenelidas. I would have given you one, but these are the four classifications that you should know about what the analyst. So very principally, we are going to quickly look at the structure of the earthworm because it's one of the, it's the most popular among what all the analysts. Okay, you know the analysts they are up to over 22,000 species of what of analysts, all right. But of course, I'm going to talk about what the structure of the earthworm. The earthworm. All right. So now, know that what that the earthworm has what special muscles. They have what called special what muscles. They have special muscles and bristles. Those bristles we call them what the setae. Setae. Okay. That was special muscles and bristles that we call what the setae that enable them to what to move from what from one place to place. From one place to another through the soil. Okay, so as they move from one place to the soil, from one place to another, they have what the satay, okay? For what for movement. We already said in the characteristic of what of analysis that 
that they have a parapod, they are also tail for what for movement. So the earthworms have what special muscles and bristles called what that they use to move what from one place to another. Also, apart from the sete, they also have what the chate. Okay, this chate enables them for what for what to burrow. Okay, bro, you know they dig they dig into the soil. Earthworms they dig into the world, into the ground so that they can work, they can sleep, they can stay. So as some sometimes you can dig them out. Okay, so they have what this chate to what to hold fast of what for burrowing. They use to what to burrow in, to to burrow into the ground. Okay, so they can also use what for what for movement also. So do not be confused in case you are giving the question and they say uh, uh, which of the following organ can be used or what for for movement in what in earthworms. Okay, so you can either choose as a T or what or chate because this what to move and burrow into what into the ground. So this one is to hold fast uh, for what for burrowing or movement to hold fast. Or what to anchor into the ground, or for what for movement, or what burrowing. Okay, they also have what the clitellum. The clitellum. Okay, this clitellum is uh secretes what to call the cocoon. It secretes cocoon. It secretes cocoon. This cocoon is to what to protect the eggs of what of the analyst. Okay, like for the, for example, like the earthworm. Okay, I'll talk about the what the earthworm now. So it has what the setae for what for movement through the soil, the chetai to hold fast for movement or for burrowing into the ground. Then how it's also our the clitellum. This clitellum secretes what the cocoons. The cocoons used to are used to what to protect what the eggs. Okay, for what for egg for for, for, for protection. Of what? Of X. So this is what the this are, this is what the structure of what of the earthworm. Okay. You know this the earthworm is what is is what is cylindrical, okay, and segmented. All right. So the earthworm, the structure of the earthworm is what cylindrical, what and segmented. That is a tie for what? For movement, for moving for locomotion, what through what and uh, as it goes through what the soil. And of course, you know that they, the earthworms like what the humus that they like humus what soils, humus soils. Okay, so they what they this a tie for what for moving what around what the soil and they move around on the ground. Okay, so it's on the soil, then what they have the chetai to hold fast or anchor. Okay, for movement for all for, 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 for burrowing, burrowing. Okay, sorry, if you don't see this burrowing, this burrowing. For burrowing what into the what into the ground so that they can what they can live okay or they can stay and they have what the clitellum this clitellum secretes what the cocoon that is what for protection of the egg so now I'm going to go to the old school jam and answer what some questions please understand that what the app has all you need to succeed in your exam so if you don't have that app you are what you are fading okay you are fading and not say you are failing you are fading okay so you have to what act fast download the application right now so i'm speaking and then activate it okay the app has wonderful features like the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes according to the jam syllabus and then answer or take tests from them then also it has the question side feature you can search for question according to topics and the question that jam has said under a particular topic will come out for you to answer Likewise, the UTME challenge is a bomb. UTME challenge is a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for a particular year. You compete with your mates, you win prizes, you get used to what I and save their question, you see your results released every week, every week, every week around 10 a.m. You see you participate in the challenge 10 a.m. every Saturday. Okay, so you win what amazing prizes, you get used to add jam, you see their question, you are seeing your results released every week. So as you are seeing your results, release every week you're able to work to track your progress or preparation then you're building confidence towards the main exams that's not wonderful so just for three thousand era as at the time of shooting this video it will increase in later in the later years so please do not say that what ah it's not three thousand again so please your major focus should be passing your exam once okay to activate just click on activate on the app look up you see where they wrote buy activation key all right so once you click on buy activation key you see the options for payment can use transfer to the O3 schools app account. You can use the ATM card to pay online. It's completely safe. There's nothing like scam there. So you can pay online. That one is automatic, automatic activation. But if you are sending your payment, if you are transferring to the O3 schools app account, just make sure you send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp 091215152. Four, six. Just send what the receipt to this number on WhatsApp and you get a reply. You don't, don't be patient. If you have paid, you must get it. You must get it. Contact this number. Send a message, send a message on WhatsApp or call if you want to call. All right. So, but the WhatsApp is 
totally enough. Okay, so that is that for that about the application. So activate today, activate today, and what get all the all the benefits you need. It's a CBT practice app, and your exam is a CBT exam. So I have my application here launched, and of course. Uh, let's see some questions. This is a 2005 question number six. 2005 question number six. They say the leeches and the earthworms belong to which uh, which uh, uh, which phylum of the of the animal kingdom do they belong to? A. They say mollusks. B. They say crustaceans. C. They say arachnids. D. They say annelids. Okay. So the simple answer there is what is annelida or the annelids. So it's simple. It's a simple question. Okay. So if you do not know it, you do not know it. So you may just go and just feel it for nothing. So that's why, as I tell you, everything we do here is very important. Take them serious. Now let's see another question. This is a biology question. Nineteen ninety-five, number eighteen. 1995 number 18. Please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very wrong. Because liking the video will make other students easily find this video. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you are doing yourself because subscribing to this channel is free, first of all, and it helps you get notification whenever we release a new video. So please click on that red subscribe button below and what? Be subscribed to this channel. Then, of course, do not forget to share this video. So, 1995 question 18. The excretory structure in the earthworm is I'm sorry, we didn't talk about the excretory structure, but the excretory structure of the earthworm is what? Nephridium. Okay, so they have what? A pair of what? Of nephridia. Okay, and they what? They use the word for, to, 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 uh, to, to excrete. So they, what they do is that they, they release what? Waste through what? Through the pores in each of the segments. They, re they release waste through the pores in each of the segments. You know, they are, they are segmented. So they release the waste through the pores of what? Uh, present in each of the segments. So the excretion structure is the nephridium. All right? So the excretion structure in the earthworm is the A, they say, Marfigian tubule. B, they say flame cell. C, they say nephridium. D, they say kidney. And the correct answer there is what? Is the nephridium. That is the excretion structure in the earthworm. All right, now, let's see another question. 2016, number five. 2016, number five. They say the presence of chetai, okay, on earthworm is for, the presence of chetai, okay, on earthworm is for, you see, use of anchor or hold fast and for movement or burrowing into the ground. Okay, so, they say A, respiration. B, they say reproduction. C, they say excretion. D, they say locomotion. And correct answer there is locomotion for movement. Okay, so there are so many other thousands of questions on the application. Download the application today and what start practicing your way to success. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And do not forget to keep sharing. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.